I'm Bob Papa. On behalf of the Baseball Club of Chatham, I'd like to welcome you to the 2012 Chatham, New Jersey baseball season. As one of the initiatives of the Baseball Club of Chatham, what we'd like to do this year is to help maintain the fields. John Pacelli and the Chatham Township do a great job here at Nash and at our new complex at Shunpike. But it's going to take the initiative of parents to help make the fields playable, especially on weekends when all these fields will get a lot of play. So what I'd like to do today is show you how to repair the batter's box because this can come, become a big problem. A couple things you're going to need. A shovel, there'll be full-size shovels in the shed. You'll need a tamper and you'll need a rake. So as I step into the batter's box here at Nash 1, as you can see with a lot of wear and tear, if I put my foot into this hole, as you can see there's a hard lip that's developed around the hole here in the batter's box. One of the common things that people are going to want to do is take their rake and just shovel the, sand, shovel the clay and the sand right back into the hole. This doesn't really repair the damage. So it's a pretty quick and easy process on how to repair the damage here. What you want to do is you want to take your shovel and you want to break up this ridge that creates the hole. And simply chop into that ridge, sort of in a circular manner, get that ridge chopped down and obviously you'll use a full spaded shovel to get that done. Next thing that you want to do is you want to take the broken up clay and all the other clay in this area and rake it toward the hole. You want to bring as much of this clay, including the broken clay, and get it back into these holes. If you need extra clay, most important thing to do is always pull away from the grass. So rake clay in from the grass, Get it into this area. Get as much of the clay in as you can. Sort of create a level spot here in the batter's box. Now that we've replaced the clay in that area, the next tool that you'll need is a tamper. And there'll be one of these in every shed at Nash and Shunpike. So the next order of business is to, in the area where you filled in the hole, lightly tamp the clay back into place. You don't have to smash it down. This will do a pretty good job of breaking up. As you see, we've created some rocks here of clay in which we've used our spade to dig it out. Very easy. Tamp it down. What you've done right now is you've repaired the hole. When time allots, there'll be water here at Nash. There's a hose and water access down the left field line. At Shunpike, there's a spout behind each pitcher's mound and there'll be a hose and a nozzle in each of the sheds. If there's time, apply water to this area, let the clay set for five to 10 minutes, warm your team up in the outfield. By the time it's ready to start play, your batter's box should be in good shape. 